Hello, my lore lovers. It's Lindsay, AKA November Pixie. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I really wanted to do a video about Godzilla versus Kong. I didn't know what episode type that it actually fell into. You know what? This is just gonna be a straight review. It doesn't fall into any of my episode lists. So I usually put this at the very end. Since this isn't a typical episode, I'm gonna just throw this out there right now that if you do like this video and you like this review, you can check out my channel for some of my other videos. I have a couple episodes on my channel. Can I fix it? Victim of franchise, heated debate, and top five countdowns. So I wanted to preface that before we get started. And so that way I could just go into a straight review of Godzilla versus Kong. So when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I had zero interest in it. I'm not the typical demographic for Godzilla or Kong movies. I've never seen a Godzilla movie. None of them, not the ones from like the 60s, not the one from 1998, not the newest one, never seen them. Like never had any interest in Godzilla. I've only had one experience with a King Kong movie. I uh, never saw any of the originals from the 30s or the 40s. Never saw any of the other Kong versus Godzilla. Didn't bother with the Peter Jackson. However, I did watch Skull Island and that one I rather enjoyed. Again, was it a perfect movie? Come on, it's a King Kong movie. Uh, of course it wasn't perfect, but it had some good acting in it. Samuel L. did great, Tom Hiddleston, even Brie Larson. It delivered on everything that it said it was going to. The action was very good. The story was well driven and I rather liked it. So Skull Island was the only one that was actually any good to me. But that's my only entry into this monster universe. You know, when I first saw the trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong, it looked like trash. It just looked like cheap CGI nonsense. And when I say cheap, obviously CGI is a bit pricey. It just looked cheap and it just looked like garbage. I had no interest in it whatsoever. Looking for content on my channel, I decided, all right, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch it and I'm going to go into it with an open mind. And I'm rather glad I did because I didn't hate this movie. I actually kind of enjoyed it. Was it a perfect movie? Why would you even bother asking that? It's Godzilla versus Kong. But for the fact that it was Godzilla versus Kong, I really didn't hate it. So obviously, if you haven't seen Godzilla vs. Kong, this is your spoiler alert. There are going to be some spoilers. I am going over some major plot points in the movie. So let's talk about the good things in Godzilla vs. Kong. First of all, this little girl, oh my gosh, she was great. I mean, obviously she's deaf and so she doesn't have any dialogue, but I mean, her being the emotional drive of the movie, she did great. I thought that she was, she was an excellent addition to the movie. And to be honest, I liked all the emotional parts of King Kong. And what I mean by that is that I liked all the people involved with King Kong. I really liked Alexander Skarsgård, Nathan Lind. I thought he was great. His uh, interaction with Rebecca Hall, Irene Andrews, and I liked the relationship between the mother and the daughter. All of the emotional elements between, you know, between the King Kong universe, I thought it was all great. I also like that they didn't overcomplicate things. We're talking about a giant monkey versus giant lizard. We don't have to reinvent the wheel, people. Like, it is what it is. Don't make it super complicated. You know, I thought that the dome around it, okay, that is a little overcomplicated, but at the same time, they didn't spend too much time on it. They didn't really try to explain how they got it. You know, we moved on. It was just kind of like, oh, this is, this is how we contain Kong you know, whatever. It actually really wasn't overcomplicated. It was a very simple plot. I liked that the action was very well paced. I liked that it wasn't all just big CGI battles and I liked that it wasn't all just slow paced talking. I thought there was a good blend of both. The dialogue was pretty good. Again, Godzilla versus Kong. We're not looking for Shakespeare. I liked that it was simple and straight to the point. Now, let's talk about some of the bad things. 
whole hollow earth thing. They've already built a way to get to hollow earth. They've now built the vehicles to sort of withstand the atmosphere and everything and actually get them there. Why did they need King Kong to go there? I know it was to find the core. I also just couldn't understand. It's like, okay, so we're in hollow earth, yet the atmosphere is just perfect. The humans are just totally fine. Just walking around in hollow earth. No precautions. The humans are just totally fine. Just walking around in hollow earth. No precautions. Visually it was really cool and it was kind of fun to watch Kong go around. But I feel like it could have just been written in a way where it was just, okay, we've got to get Kong to Hong Kong to fight Godzilla and we don't need to do this hollow earth thing. Yeah, Mecha Godzilla needed the or whatever. I thought it was stupid. So everything surrounding Kong was good. Godzilla, on the other hand, didn't like that so much. You have to have people that drive the story forward. The stupidity of the Godzilla clan, the podcaster, Millie Bobby, and her little friend. It's like, oh, we've got to get them to Hong Kong somehow. Oh, we're going to sneak in to Apex, yet there's absolutely zero security. Then they get into this little container because, oh, people are coming. Oh, let's get into this thing. No, we have to get you to Hong Kong. And this thing just happens to be going there. Oh, well, isn't that convenient? Ugh. So the Godzilla people, I didn't like them. Again, was this a perfect movie? Of course not. But you know what? It's an hour and 53 minutes. You know, I could think of worse movies to watch that are over two hours. <laughs> You know, this movie promised me Godzilla versus Kong, and it delivered. Again, not exactly Shawshank Redemption, but it wasn't a bad way to kill two hours. So what did you think? You can let me know in the comment section below. If you do like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. That does help out a lot. If you do like this video, you can check out my channel for some of my other episodes. Or can I Fix It? Victim of Franchise, Heated Debates and top five countdowns. Occasionally I will do uh, just a straight review. I did one for the Zack Snyder Justice League. You can check that out. And if you do like this video and you like what I do on this channel, sprinkle a little pixie dust over that subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell for all notifications. Until next time, wishing you peace, love, and pixie dust. Bye now.